If you're getting error messages like this from Pro Tools about physical RAM running out and that you have to get more of it, your computer's crapping out and not doing what it's meant to do, then this video is for you. Now you might already hear the fan on my computer going into overdrive in the background and as a long time Pro Tools user, I'm used to seeing error messages from the time they were DAE errors and not AAE errors, which you see most of the time now. Now, to be fair, they're few and far between now, but I recently upgraded my OS and my version of Pro Tools, and the error I'm getting now is either the message on screen or a minus 9173 AAE error message. No matter what error you're getting, what I'm about to show you is going to help you. So the first thing I'm going to do is click out this error message again. <laughs> and then what you want to do is come up here to window and go into system usage. That will let you know what's actually going on, how much of your system is being used by Pro Tools. Now, already you can see that CPU is not under that much pressure, but memory is at 100%. That's why it's telling me I need to get more memory. Duh. So it's telling me to get more physical RAM on board here. From Pro Tools 12 and above, it's recommended that you have 16 gigabytes of RAM at a minimum installed. 32 gig or more is recommended. So if already you're starting to see issues, that might be why. But working with what you already have, you can improve this situation right here without any extra RAM. You wanna go up to setup and playback engine. Now the first thing I'll say with your playback engine is that if you're mixing or using a lot of VSTs, you want this hardware buffer size to be at the maximum number of samples. 1024 samples is ideal in this situation. You want dynamic plugin processing ticked. And here's where it gets interesting. From Pro Tools 12 onward, the video engine is switched on by default. And that uses three gigabytes of memory straight away. So three gigabytes of your physical RAM is being used just to enable this video engine. If you're just creating music and there's no video requirement whatsoever, you don't need this enabled. So switch it off. And let's see what sort of impact that has on the RAM, physical RAM usage. Straight away, you can see the memory usage has gone down to 56%. Now I've got a lot of plugins and VSTs running in this session, but even with that, I'm not gonna see that physical RAM error message again anytime soon. If you're still seeing a very high memory usage, you're probably running too many apps, too many programs. Some of your plugins might be super memory thirsty. There's an optimization guide on the Avid website that you can go through and by a process of elimination, find those problematic plugins. And if you are using a lot of VSTs and a lot of plugins, you can freeze the tracks or you can print them. So that gets rid of the need for having the plugins in the session. So that's a one click fix for a very common error. If you don't need the video engine, turn it off and hey presto, problem solved. Now, if you had that error and this video has helped you, drop a comment down below and let me know. There are lots of other Pro Tools, mixing and music production videos on this channel and over at understandingaudio.com. So make sure to subscribe and most importantly, have fun making great music. I'll see you in the next video.